It's just crazy that, you know, my first, I guess, uh, single that I released already has 5 million views on YouTube. There's only one out of a million, only one, oh, Billboard spoke with GOT7's Mark Twan about leaving JYP, fighting with his bandmates, Justin Bieber, racism in America, BTS, and more. We have his thoughts on it all. crazy right now um i feel like the fans have been super supportive of us ever since like we kind of announced that we were leaving um JYP. you know we're just super thankful for the fans and it just mo motivates me even more to want to work harder and with all those changes that you guys are experiencing now what can we expect music wise coming next well i can't say too much for the other members um but for me right now i am working um, on trying to find my own sound. Just building my album right now. So it, it sounds good. I like it. <laughs> so. Well, are you listening to anything right now that's kind of helping helping you hone in that sound? Anything inspiring you? I do have a playlist uh, made with like songs that I do kind, kind of want to, with songs that have the sound that I kind of want to build up on. Um, so I have been listening to a lot of like Justin Bieber, um, Black Bear, a lot of newer artists like Ian Dior. Um, 24k gold into. I was also reading recently one of your members said that your older fights actually helped you guys a lot when you would fight a lot. So tell me how you feel about the fighting helping you guys grow as a group. The way that we fought wasn't it wasn't super serious. Um, a lot of the times it was more like how you would fight with your younger siblings. Even before coming out as GOT7, we've been training together for three, four years too. It, it is pretty much like a family um, bond, family relationship that we have. And speaking of groups like GOT7, we asked him about the rise of K-pop and he brought up another superstar group. We didn't have such supportive fans like all around the world. Um, it'd be super hard to, you know, um, let people know about K-pop, but like BTS, they've been doing super good like in the, in the States and stuff like that. And I feel like they, it's because like K-pop, they have such a strong fan base where they're super supportive of their artists. Yes, they are. And we would love that collab. We also asked Mark about his tweet on violence against Asian Americans. And he had this to say. Yeah, it just sucks to see like your own race being attacked because of you know, um, these reasons. Right now it is, uh, there, there are a lot of attacks towards Asian Americans, but, you know, I feel like um, these past couple of years or so, um, there have been attacks on other races too. All the racism and like, all that has to stop. And I just, I just, I just wish that like, we could all come together and like not to worry about, you know, our skin color or stuff like that. No, that would be a beautiful time. I think we're all hoping for that. Mark's single One in a Million is out right now, as well as his XC3 clothing collection at represent.com. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News.